Hello guys and welcome to the new introduction video of my Blender 1.3 Muscle Tools add-on. And uh, in this video I will declare some options which uh, appear new in the Blender Muscle Tools add-on. For example the Build a Muscle Tool and uh, yeah, some, uh, another, uh, some other options, for example the Use Object Name and uh, yeah, some very cool arrows which appear <laughs> Very cool add-ons, very ironic, but um, yeah, some uh, arrows which um, which explain what you made wrong. For example, uh, make sure you've selected an object with muscle attributes and an arrow attribute while you uh, make sure you select an object and stuff like this. And um, yeah, let's uh, get started. And first, let's um, see what this first option here does. This is a um, a program I write for creating muscles and um, but uh, these muscles are uh, pre pre-made so um, that you don't have to uh, that you don't always have to um, yeah, create these muscles by your own for example just um, add an object and make a muscle shape uh, and uh, etc. So uh, with this uh, tool here you can just create on a uh, click on this button a muscle will be created you can adjust the radius update this and uh, make the size much bigger and I think it's uh, a lot uh, better to work with numbers because uh, you um, will get more um, more detailed uh, you get a more detailed work. So this uh, don't works just with one muscle. You can uh, add as many muscle objects as you want and just edit them, um, rename them. For example, this quadriceps update. Let's write this small letters. And um, this is the biceps update this is the uh, triceps and update perhaps we want the biceps uh, to be a little smaller so let's increase the size to let's say 0.5 and uh, the radius to 0.2 and here we have the biceps the triceps is a little too big too, so let's increase this um, to 0.2 and uh, perhaps just edit it. So the cool feature is that you can edit these um, uh, muscles here and um, also uh, increase uh, for example these values and it will be um, updated with the um, changed stuff. So the quadriceps is a little too big. Let's uh, unset the smooth and make the size a little smaller, 0.4 etc. You can do whatever you want with this. Um, oh, no, not the size, I mean the radius to 0.5 and uh, yeah you can do whatever you want with this um, but be careful when you um, apply when you apply this um, options here then um, uh, when, when you convert this uh, these uh, meshes to a muscle the uh, sub uh, subdivision surface modifier which is on these uh, objects for example if we uh, set the smooth to one there uh, is a uh, sub subsurface uh, subdivision surface modifier on it it will be applied and uh, you will have much more polygons so let's say this is only if you really want to smooth this uh, muscle later. So we have here our three uh, funky looking muscles and uh, they are created with the muscle creator. The muscle creator is uh, only for muscles which are created with this muscle creator. So for example for if I add a normal cube you will see these options uh, will disappear. So um, nice. 
Then we have uh, some new options. Uh, for example, the use object name option. This was um, not there before because uh, yeah, I didn't have this in mind. As you can see in the description, this option uses the name of the m object as the muscle name, so you don't have to enter this every time. And uh, I think this is, uh, becomes quite of boring if you always uh, type here triceps. And yeah, yeah, now you can just use object name and convert, and as you can see, it becomes triceps armatures, triceps uh, da da da, etc., and the triceps group. So let's just make this controller here a little bit smaller. And yeah, for example, um, with this object also, this is the uh, this object is called biceps. So convert this to a biceps group. Make this. Uh, also a little smaller, 0.2, what's this here, 0.15, okay, let's make this to 0.15, and also with this um, quadriceps, convert this to a quadriceps. So, uh, this looks uh, quite interesting. But um, now we have the uh, option to delete muscle attributes. In uh, some versions before there were some problems because um, I've changed some stuff here, for example the muscle soft body and the muscle uh, subserve um, uh, modifiers were uh, renamed and I didn't have to have this in mind. So now this is uh, solved and if you delete these muscle attributes now you can see the object don't have any attributes more uh, anymore on it. So just uh, the group exists, but you can just select this and delete. Now, um, yeah, this worked just fine, and this object is not anymore a muscle. You can reconvert it, but um, yeah, as you can see, there becomes sometimes there becomes another error message, and this is not my fault, this is the fault of Blender, because Blender always stores data. Um, also group data, for example, we cannot delete groups until we closed Blender and restarted it. So um, I made this error message, if you want to convert it, the group already exists, please choose another muscle name, so we have to perhaps uh, end uh, either close Blender, uh, for example save this and close Blender and restart it, or we um, just rename this to quadriceps01 and now this works just fine. Okay, nice. There's a lot of bug fixes and um, yeah, another thing is that we have these vertex group options here. Um, this vertex group option. So, for example, if we um, enable the jiggle view and jiggle render, you can see this looks a little ugly because these uh, edges are collapsing. So, we can just uh, select these, make a new vertex group, make this, for example, uh, jiggle, and add these here. And now, as you can see, wait. So, now as you can see, these um, ends here are sticked to the ends. And this works just fine with the jiggle. You can increase the... Okay, everything works as expected. Fine. Also, um, yeah, let's just uncheck this and delete the muscle attributes and everything works just fine. Jiggle is away and you can just select this group and delete this. Delete it. Oh, without the muscle. So, okay. Nice. Then you have your muscle here. Now this add-on be uh, becomes uh, very stable and um, works just fine. So there are a lot of errors solved and uh, it's already um, available on the Blender market. So if you want to check it out, um, then you will get it for a uh, good price. So, okay, thank you for watching this video and I um, will update this muscle tool further and further and uh, if you buy this now, you can um, get the newly updated versions, of course, for free. 
So, please visit this uh, the Blender Market site for, to get more information about it. And thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.